Hello everyone. This is Melinda Posty Thrill Throw. And I'd like to do a pool for a friend. That's just a ray of sunshine. And um, I hope everybody's doing good tonight, today, afternoon, whenever it is that you see this. I've already cleaned the cards to save a little bit of time. And um, I just hope everybody's doing good, you know? Yeah. Make sure they're right side up. Getting cool, huh? Here it was cool and snow, and then it warmed up just a little bit, and now it's getting cold again, rainy. Mother Earth needs the rain, though. that cycle you know right there I'm gonna lay them all down and then we'll get a story I may have to take the bottoms but I'm not going to yet There's amazing things happening in the world. I'm not talking politics. It's just amazing things happening. Right there. No. Need to do this. Okay, right there. One more. Hope you guys can put up with this. It's going to be probably a little bit longer because there's going to be four cards each. Okay? of each of the five stacks. Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland, right there. These are a little bit thicker. So just trying to get one, one for each stack. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> There's a lot of. Oh, I have frankincense and myrrh going. All right, we're gonna go for the first stack. First stack is K 
King of Wands. And we will get his little story per stack and then all together. So we have the King of Wands. Take it from the bottom. Enchantment. Enchantment. This is the garden. I'm going to need some glasses. Where's my glasses? Mm. I'll do the best I can, guys. Community. Network. Groups. And social gatherings. Media. Public. And collective consciousness. It's the garden card. Okay. Then we have the hummingbird. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Okay, so we have the hummingbird and the garden, enchantment, and the king of wands. That was the very first card. I think this is um, whether if you're male or female, because I'm not going to say, I believe that this card is for you, that this is you. Sitting on your throne in your home. And then with the enchantment, is like wishes. It's like wishes. Hopes and dreams I just heard. And I'm seeing a planet with light all around it. But there's several different kinds of light around it. And so we'll get more on that in a minute. And then the hummingbird about being fearless the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. I believe that there's something going on in your life that you're really into. And it brought you to a place in your life that you was feeling fearless and free. That you had a knowing and a calling and you was tending to that. And the hummingbird is I'm hearing getting knowledge. And then uh, the garden with community and networking, groups, social gatherings, whether it's media, public, or both, it's the collective consciousness that was helping you with this. Let's see what the next set of cards has. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that is a lot of smoke. I got it a little close today. Okay. First card is the Queen of Coins. So, whether if this is male or female, 
like I had to say on the other corn. This queen feels more dominant. And coins are about anything earthly. Money, precious stones, something tangible in your life. Evolution and whatever's going on in your life, you're evolving, and I'm seeing strength behind this evolution that's going on in your light with all this enlightenment all around you, it's just emitting from you. And you're wanting it so bad. And for some reason, this Queen of Coins and then the ship card. And it says travel or transport, holiday, distance. Import, export, foreign, or adventure. I'm seeing, um, that this energy that is around you, while you're trying to evolve and become more more enlightened, more knowledge, just more. That you're going on these adventure times, as I call them. You know, either that or somebody's wanting to travel because it is the holidays coming up. And then, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. And what I'm getting from this is maybe your dreams is not the same as somebody else's dreams. Then it may be making a smear in your life or a flow, a flow in your life. A flow that somebody else may not like. For some reason, you're changing and somebody may not like it, maybe trying to hold you back, keep you from traveling to your dreams, the thing, whatever it is that you're being called for, to allow you to be fearless and free. Roam your own garden. Okay, let's get the next deck. Now this could be causing a tower moment in your life. We'll see if this is going to be a good tower, bad tower. This could be um, one thing falling apart and another thing falling together is what I am getting from this card right now. And then we have miracles. It's gonna be some miracles in your life. Whether if it's a new life or just new life that you're getting from within.
from the enlightenment that you're feeling, this feeling of being free and creative. And then you got the heart. And it says, love and passion, purpose, desire, consciousness, happiness, joy, forgive, Elevate, love yourself. <laughs> Just loving yourself is a miracle because sometimes we've gone through so much in our lives that we want to just grab a hold of anything that we love or loves us. But in order to really be free, Maybe this other person isn't supporting your dreams. The things that you're desiring inside of your life. But it brings you such happiness. And love. And a passion. From within. Because it supports your dreams. It's elevating you to new enlightenment and freedom and consciousness. It gives you purpose and desire. It's just elevating you. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. The universe works fast when you're having fun. I'm seeing this as two oars, two separate people. And whether if the two people, the King of Wands, the Queen of Coins. Maybe, maybe the fun Maybe you'll find some fun together. I hope and I pray that your heart stays with joy and happiness and your miracles will be right there in front of you like every breath that you take will feel like a miracle because it is. Let's go with the next tech. I'm taking from the bottom how I laid them down. The first card is the Six of Swords. This can mean travel can mean getting together with family. You did get a holiday card. This also I'm feeling is rowing to secure your inner self your inner child, rowing for safety. Feeling safe, you're wanting to feel safe. 
everybody wants to feel safe. It's so normal. Don't think it's not. Please. Empathy. You've got the empathy card. I think you're very empathic, intuitive. And whatever your passion is, it comes freely from within. And it brings you joy and happiness. Like as if you was this flower floating on a lily. Yeah, it brings you all this enlightenment. It's nature. Green is also healing. I see a part of your childhood wanting to heal. But I'm, you may have to go through something in order for that to happen. Then you got the snake. And it says, shedding, slippery, entangled, affair, difficult, lies, distractions, detour. I'm feeling that you was, you're shedding you're shedding skin that's been there for a long time. You're not meaning to be slippery in any kind of a way. But things are becoming entangled with something going on inside your life and it's becoming very difficult for you. between the King of Wands and Queen of Coins. For some reason, there's thought of distractions, some kind of detour in life. I think that detour has taken you within a calling, a knowing, with your intuition. You know. You know. But there's a childhood wound wanting to heal, is what I feel, is what I'm getting. Whether this is true or not, I don't know. This is what I'm getting. And just remember this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not trying to say or do. I'm just saying what I'm feeling, hearing, and seeing, okay? Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. For all. Whether if it's coming from land or flowing energies of different kinds of energies. Because sometimes when we pray for a certain outcome, in my life, I found that 
that that outcome doesn't usually occur. What usually occurs after I go through all the feelings of it is that it was for my highest good. very empathetic you, you got intuition I think if you go with your gut you'll know okay I'm going to do this last deck temperance you want balance in your life for everything to be alright and everything will be all right. Everything will work itself out. Like the old saying goes, whatever doesn't come out in the wash will come out in the rinse. intention setting your intentions setting your intentions in balance and instead of praying for an outcome I pray for the highest good for all your intentions Yeah. And then you got the stars. You got the stars. <laughs> oh. Which is hopes, wishes, destiny, direction, guidance, success, expansion. Technology, psychic, spirit, and intuition. Yes. Yes, my friend. You're very enlightened. And you're becoming more enlightened. Something... For some reason, I know you like to walk that garden because it's saying so. I'm going to be fearless and free. Heartache gone. I just, I just heard the heartache gone, but, um, very intuitive, psychic. It's what intuition is, you know. Knowing, knowing something and not realize it or even knowing how you know it. It's just there. Some people see things, hear things, just know things. And I believe that you're going to have more of a success with this ability and gifts once you heal whatever it is you sense your intentions on whatever it is that you're wanting. And it's going to give you balance the balance of feeling free. Just feeling balanced. Hope is the conduit for miracles. You got two miracle cards, man. Hope is the conduit for miracles.
miracles. Miracles are there. And sometimes they come through oh, the dog's moving thing. It's all good, right? And it came up on the tower when the dog was moving the table like that. But sometimes miracles come through towers. Because not only do we fall apart, we fall together. And as long as your heart is intact... your heart yeah you're going to have an evolution in your life yeah there's a stream of love supporting your dreams. What are your dreams? Your desires, your hopes, your needs. Because sometimes, well, more than sometimes, we have to worry about our own heart and take care of our own heart miracles happen miracles happen and then the king and the queen the universe works fast when I'm having fun and it'll bring you balance yeah well I love you very much I love you all very much oh yeah I love myself no matter what I look like no matter what I sound like because I was coughing I need a drink of water <laughs> Not everything in this world in our life can make us happy because not everybody is happy from the same things. But when we learn to combine two separate energies together, there's balance between two separate energies. And when you bring peace inside yourself, it allows for the energies to flow more evenly, more balanced. I love you. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Be good to yourself.